six other siblings. That was pretty much, you know, my childhood in Hong Kong during the 60s and 70s. Life was scarce. And that is pretty much the norm of the day. Things got better. Uh, later on, we moved into a bigger apartment, have our own bathroom, and also got the first color TV and even the phone line. All of these, you know, are some of the things that we were so excited at that time. And eventually, actually, I um, got my bachelor degree from the University of Hong Kong. So right around the time I was about to start my career, things happened. There were talks about returning Hong Kong back to Communism, China. A lot of people were concerned. My parents were no exception. So, with support from our my eldest brother, uh, who was a U.S. citizen of the United States at that time, we made the decision to immigrate to the United States. So remember that. That was my first time getting on an airplane. Um, I was in the 20 something. Flying over the Pacific Ocean, landing on a city called Detroit, and it was very intimidating. It was a new world. I really didn't know anything about that country. I mean, now it's my country. And I remember that, you know, um, when I was in uh, graduate school here for computer science. Uh, one of my classmates and they asked me, hey, can you bring some pizza to the party? I said, pizza? What is pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I really you know, have no idea what's pizza. Even I, I was being shown the picture. Oh, it doesn't take me long. Um, I found the eggs actually it was pizza. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say that, you know, Pizza Hut, was my favorite brand. <laughs> <laughs> so along the way, I also picked up French fries, chicken fried steaks, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, and Phoenix Suns. So I'm settling in. So I got my first job as a software developer uh, in Dallas, Texas. And then Right off the bat, I guess like most of the people, I bought a new car. In hindsight, that might not be the wise idea. So I married my wife, whom I met in Hong Kong. Uh, actually, even bought my first house in urban Texas. An American dream. Missions accomplished. <laughs> so that was my, um, Eric Spawn told me when he tried to convince us to come over to the US. American dream. So things go actually were, was going quite well. A couple of years later, one day, a recruiter called me if I were interested in a project called Iridium. I was really excited about that without much hesitation. I moved my family from Texas, you know, to here, Phoenix, Arizona and actually settled down in our, in our Turkey. And brought up my few children, wonderful children, two of them long gone, 
after graduating from high school, I still have a young son. Uh, in his sophomore in Desert West. Now, looking back, things have been progressing along really well. I'm grateful every day when I woke up, knowing who I am, <coughs> and um, I can get on the treadmill. That when I feel like that, I want to, you know, uh, do some exercise. So sometimes I'm wondering, you know, what could I do in returns? Now here comes Einstein. You know, as much as what he has discovered, he once said, it is not that I'm so small. It is just that I stay on with problems longer. Now that's telling me that everyone can be very remarkable. <coughs> and so with that said, I would really like to do something uh, to give back to the country, starting right here. Thank you.